Hi Taurus, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart and I am going to do your intuitive tarot for the month of April 2018. Um, if you didn't get a chance to watch my um, intro video, please get the, if you have the opportunity, please do so. Um, if this resonates with you, please do subscribe. Um, I'm just getting going here, so I would love to start to conversate or have a conversation, I should say, with my um, wonderful family out there of spiritual, spiritually awakened beings. Um, as I said in my intro, if you haven't had a chance to watch it, my readings are not going to necessarily be love or you know anything in particular. I'm not specializing that sort of thing, but what I am more of a specialist for is those who are are, or are awakened or are being awakened. Um, so it's just going to be what the message is that I have for you. Um, the cards really just further eliminate, okay, what I'm already hearing, okay? So for you, Taurus, for April, um, we are going to pull five cards. First card is going to be the overall energy for April. Second card is going to be what's coming towards you. Third card is going to be your obstacles, potentially. Fourth card is potentially what could help you and through April. And then the fifth card is a potential outcome. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for Taurus. So what does Taurus need to know? My Taurus friends, what do you need to know for the month of April in 2018? Again, first card, overall energy. Second card, what's coming towards them? Third card obstacles fourth card what's going to help them and then fifth card potential outcome okay i do use the thalama tarot deck i do read um also read uh rehearsals as well so just so you know here we go okay Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Taurus, here we go. Overall energy for the month is the Fool in Reverse. Now, as most of you know, the Fool Upright, brand new beginnings. You're looking at things in a brand new light. Everything in the world is new. What's going on? I feel like internally... Um, you're, you've lost some hope, right? Internally, you're not seeing overall energies. You're not feeling like things are brand new. Here we are in the month of spring where uh, flowers are starting to bud. The trees are starting to bud. We've got birds, you know, coming back, at least here in the Midwest, and singing. Um, so why is this the fool in the reverse here? Okay. So clarifying cards, the star in reverse. Again, this is another loss of hope. So if the star card was here upright with the fool, I'd be like, oh my gosh, great, great wish, dream, hope, goal, fulfillment. You're really going after it. But something's holding you back internally. You're not feeling it, right? That's kind of a, uh, I'm not sure, stutter step. And then we've got the king of swords upright. So I feel like what's going to, what, what, the overall theme for this month is um, you need to be very strong with your communication. What you speak is what your how you create your world. Okay, you need you need to create your world. All right, um, and speak it into an existence. Don't lose hope. Don't you know try to turn your eyes. You know, my beautiful earth sign. Try to turn your eyes from just right here and, and everything that you've been through recently. Um, and making the assumption that things are not going to work. And renew your hope. Okay? But speak into existence and be very decisive and very sure and very... Um, direct with what you're you're putting out there the words that you're sowing to recreate your world okay because the next up is the ten of pentacles okay so this is what's coming towards you you have abundance coming towards you abundance 
So speak it out. Speak it out. Speak that abundance into existence, okay? Speak it out. Believe it, then leave it there. Don't take it back, okay? Don't take it back. Uh, because that then tells God, um, spirit, that tells him you don't believe that he can provide it for you and that he wants the best for you because you keep taking it back with worry, okay? But abundance is headed your way. That's what's coming towards you. That's awesome. And, you know, pentacles, earth energy, this is awesome for you. So this is, you're really coming into your own, okay? Um, this could be financial. This could be um, abundance in your emotional life. But I believe it's going to be financial for you that you're coming out of a time of lack, all right? Um, potential obstacle, interestingly enough, is the Knight of Cups. So why is this Knight of Cups here? I, you know, is someone coming towards you as an obstacle that looks like he or she is giving you some, you know, messages of love? Yeah. So we've got the Page of Swords and the Six of Swords, but both in the reverse, okay? So as I'm looking at the potential obstacles, so there's going to be a cutoff of communication. You've been waiting for for communication from, looks like something new, someone new. Um, it could potentially not someone new, but you've been waiting for some communication of love and validation, right, to come in, but it's not. Um, and in fact, that Six of Swords in the reverse just further tells me, um, you know, the Six of Swords on the upright would tell me that they're like moving away. Um, but I see you moving away because you're not getting communication. So you're going to cut that communication off with this person. Um, and that's further clarified here by the Eight of Cups upright. Okay. You're walking away from this in April. All right. That's what's going to help you. You got to walk away from whoever this is, be it family or be it um, a romantic interest. That's not serving you. They're not properly giving you good um, communication, right, at any way. Um, it's definitely not what, they, what you're expecting. You know, the page is kind of a, a newness, right? They're, it's a young, vibrant, that kind of thing. So things are getting stale. It's not, you're not getting, you're not getting what you need, okay? But because you're not getting what you need, you're in your head, Okay, but I'm telling you, let it go, cut it, okay? Be direct, cut it, so that you don't keep blocking your abundance, all right? Walk away from it. Walk away from it, okay? Um, potential outcome, you're going you're gonna to feel a little left out in the cold here. You're going to feel a little injured here with that nine of swords, um, it's going to hurt because you have to, you're finally having to come to that realization that what, who this person is, is not serving you. But what I keep hearing is having this person in your life is also blocking you um, from receiving the abundance that you're due or that the, or that God wants to get to you. Okay. And I have, you know, sword. So it could be an air sign. I have a lot of sword energy. Could be an air sign. Um, it could be a water sign as well. But I'm seeing a lot of air here. Um, so I don't necessarily like to go that route. But whoever's in your life, my dear, is not serving you. And if we have people in our lives that aren't really giving us what um, we need, want, desire, or we're having people in our lives that are not really truly fulfilling us, what happens is because we're not feeling fulfilled in that area of our relationship, all the other financial blessings or um, needs blessings or whatnot, th that abundance is blocked because you know, God knows he can't get it through you because you're so focused over here on this individual that you're just waiting for this communication and this validation for. Validate yourself. Love yourself. This is not going to be easy. 
it is going to be painful. It will hurt because you really, really, really care about this person a lot. You really do. You've been trying to give them love and they don't want to accept it. And it hurts. Or, you know, they may be accepting your love, but they're just using you. But you can't have abundance in other areas of your life if you're not abundant in your own self-partnering and love, love of self. And in order to do that, sometimes we have to cut out. We got to get rid of it. We got to walk away from it. As painful. When I look at this Eight of Cups, and man, he's walking away. But he's also following that moon. He's following his intuition. Okay. You got. He's got a rod there. He's got a staff. You're going to have support. And walking away. But you got to. Because it's not helping you. And once you are able to get rid of that and then start that self-healing process and you regain hope, right? And you regain yourself. You regain this look outlook on the world. Like, wow, the world is mine, right? And there's great adventures out here. Once you regain that, oh my gosh, the manifestation, the abundance that's going to come to you is going to be so fantastic, okay? So, um... Dear hearts, I, you know, I know it's difficult, but you got to walk away from it, okay? But cause, Because that potential outcome. Now, why is the Nine of Swords here? Give me another. Um, what happens after the Nine of Swords? Yeah. Yeah. What happens after the Nine of Swords is we've got the Queen of Wands. Boy, she's a fast mover. She's rolling, right? She is in all her glory. I love the Queen of Wands because this chick goes after what she wants. Okay? So you get over your hurt, right, as a potential outcome. There's going to be judgment. And so this is what I'm hearing. If you don't cut it out, what's going to happen is you're going to block your judgment and you're going to block your forward movement. You got to cut it out. Those are the two potential outcomes here I'm seeing. If you don't cut them, cut this person out and, and get it moving, okay, you're going to block your justice and your potential movement, okay? That's what you're going to do. You're going to block them. If you do, though, it's going to hurt at first, but at the end of the day, you're going to come out in all your glory, ready for the world and ready to conquer all right all right taurus that's what i've got for you okay for this month of april if it resonates with you please press the like bu button please subscribe below um and i'll see you again mid-month all right take care be blessed Bye bye